Just a short video to show you. I don't think you'd seen the opening coming from the, the lounge uh, into the dining room now. Um, I think we had it boarded up just before you left. Uh, so, yeah, as I'm walking round and then looking across what will be the dining room and then to the opening um, at the back there where the wheelbarrow is, where the fire's going to be. Uh, we opened up where the door was going to be towards the wine cellar and the um, uh, and access to the garage because we needed to to get the the um, all the rubble out. As you can see, this is what we were on about about the different levels. There's, we've had to <laughs> dig a huge amount. Out. I think that's four four skips have gone and we're hoping well no i think we're on our fourth skip now and uh, once this one's full up one more five skips should be it but you can sort of see the the difference in height from where the floor is there where the cable is to what we've dug out i think it's probably um about uh 300 millimeters down from that so it's this is what say altered it, but it was just not doable without digging all of this out. So we spent a good day just looking at it and going round and round in circles, and then um, decided that was the only way. But yeah, that's that'll be uh, so that the view all the way through. We we had some ideas which um, which uh, probably we were going to draw up. Um, so to make it a bit uh, so you can understand it but maybe we were thinking just looking at it not to put a door in where where you step into that corridor but have that open um and then sort of from, from the kitchen uh you'll be able to look across and you'll be able to see the glass front as i believe it's going to be glass front into the wine store and you'd have a view of it from there and the other thing we were thought about was because obviously this is going to be your view from the lounge and you know as you step up into the uh, dining room there to put a window between the fire and the uh, the opening that we've opened up in that wall there and so you'd also have a view of all the wine racks and the wine store from the living room and the uh, and the um, dining room. Uh, yeah, so that was, it was just a thought that as it's there and it uh, might make a, a nice feature, but it was just a thought the other day. Um, yeah, but really it's just a load of rubble to look at at the minute. Hopefully uh, I can carry on a little bit, um, but Alan's off to England in um, uh, on Thursday, I think it's Friday. Friday, I think possibly he's off to England. Uh, so. I might be stuck for a little while. Um, we, we were looking at the swimming pool again. Um, it was again, we, we were just uh, thinking it might be might be as well to leave the swimming pool at the moment. And if we draw some plans up for what, what you could do in the back garden, it's just in case we need to move the um, the pumping equipment. We don't want to put it in and then um, and then later on think we'd be better off having it elsewhere because one thing that would be good with the um, the pool equipment, the pump, is for it actually to, actually to be lower than it was uh, previously because really that, that was, it was all set too high, the, the pump should be lower in the ground but um, so yeah, I don't know. Um, I might have another think about that, but uh, it might want looking at a little bit but just before we do it, exactly where all the pump's going to go. So that's about it for the second. Well, I thought I'd just have a walk around. You can see it from another direction. So that window is stopping, isn't it? Obviously, it will change And that doorway was going to be blocked up then. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. Speak to you later. Bye.